<laughs> well, listen, what do I suggest, steroids or no steroids? Okay, <laughs> here's the PED question again. All right, now I'm gonna answer this real talk because a lot of people don't know this, but you know, for a very long time, very, very long time in my, in my career, um, I understood that it was very, very important to be an unenhanced, unenhanced athlete um, for a very long time. I, I'll never forget being at my first teenage bodybuilding competition, being backstage, you know, just full with passion and talent, and seeing some of the older guys backstage that were able to encourage me as a young guy, hey man, you got great genetics, you look like you have a great passion for the sporting experience. They told me then something that I thought was almost ominous. They said, you know, stay natural as long as you can. And at the time, I thought, I really didn't know how to take that. I took it very negatively, you know? Um, I thought it was very interesting that as a teenager backstage at a, you know, at, you know, you know my first bodybuilding, first, you know, couple of bodybuilding competitions, and here comes the, the, the subject of drugs, you know? What the hell's going on with um, But it turns out that that piece of information turned out to be something that I could see would be very, very helpful much further on in my career down the line, you know? So when I'm in a position that I am in right now and, and someone, you know, asks me the question that you just did, hey man, steroids or no steroids? You know, I'm gonna say to you very honestly with the fullest conviction in my heart, you know, I had to ask myself this question every day as I was working towards, you know, achieving some larger, some larger things with my personal development and, and my walk as an athlete, you know, and have I gone as far as I can go, you know, as an unenhanced athlete? And one of the things that I thought was very significant, even now when I think back on that, is, is that every time I asked myself that question, when I waited a little bit longer and reached a little bit deeper, I was able to find new heights in my development and my athletic experience. You know, um, I, you know, I got a chance to, I thought that maybe I'd gone as far as I could go as an unenhanced athlete, and maybe I need to start to think about taking PEDs as, you know, a, a step up to elevate my game. And what I've discovered was, hey, well, you know what? Maybe not, maybe not just yet. And then shortly thereafter, I found myself competing in like the Mr. Universe and the World Championships. And though I'd still com competed and made the commitment to still be a drug-free athlete, I found myself you know, capable of not only placing fifth in the World Championships, but then coming back the next year, training harder, being more deliberate and dutiful about my approach. And you know, the next year I was able to actually win the World Championship. You know, I won the Mr. World title.